AT&T is ending their prepaid Data Connect Pass plans, including the $34.99 per month unlimited tablet plan. What are your options? Hi there, I'm Cherie with the Mobile Internet Resource Center, and AT&T has been sending out notifications to customers of their Data Connect prepaid pass plans that their plans are coming to an end and they need to move to new prepaid plans on AT&T's website. Now, what does this all mean? Well, AT&T has, for the past few years, had two different prepaid options. Their prepaid options, which are obviously prepaid, as well as their Data Connect Pass plans, which were basically available for activation directly on an iPad or other eligible device. Now, a year ago, they discontinued their Data Connect plans. You can no longer activate those directly anymore. You had to go to prepaid, and now they are continuing that consolidation of the prepaid brands to go to just prepaid. So that is the impetus behind this move. However, unfortunately, it does mean the end of the very popular $34.99 per month iPad plan or tablet plan. Now, this plan came out originally when the iPad was released back in 2010, and has had a history of being grandfathered in since then, including the price increase to $34.99. Now, this plan was grandfathered back in three years ago, and customers who continue to pay their bills and use the plan on a tablet device were able to keep the plan. Now, with this transition, customers have gotten notifications that they have to switch to an AT&T prepaid plan, and on those options, the most there is no unlimited there. You, there is a 50 gigabyte for $55 per month plan, as well as a 100 gigabyte for $90 per month plan. Now, if you choose to switch to AT&T pre prepaid, uh, they are offering a $20 per month discount if you go with a $55 per month plan. So that does bring it back down to the $35 per month price point. However, you only get 50 gigabytes of data. No longer do you get unlimited data. So that is a going to be a disappointment for some who have continued to keep this plan active for all of these years. It is the end of a 13-year era with this sweet old unlimited plan. Now, there are other options on the market um, that you might want to consider if you had that plan. T-Mobile still, as of today, offers a $10 per month a tablet plan that you can get standalone as a business customer, and it's pretty easy to sign up as a business customer with T-Mobile. And if you want to stick with AT&T, actually they have a postpaid tablet plan that you can get standalone for just $20 per month. That one's not available on their website. You do need to find a rep who knows how to activate it, but it is still available out there. $20 per month with a little bit of tax on it is actually a better deal than that $34.99 as long as you can qualify for a postpaid plan with AT&T. As far as other plans that were on Data Connect, there really weren't a lot of options on there that our audience of mobile internet aficionados might have been following. So we don't think it's going to impact many people. Uh, most have been going direct with AT&T prepaid for data plans. Uh, so I don't think that's going to be much of an impact there. It's mostly going to be an impact for those who had that sweet $34.99 per month unlimited plan. Now, automatic billing will end in February and the plans will be discontinued in March. So you do need to make a decision on what you're going to do. Uh, service will be lost in mid-March if you don't make any other action. So that is the latest on AT&T. Goodbye unlimited data on iPad plans for $34.99. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.